In an industry filled with dreams, the actress, known for her work in a popular science fiction series, turned hers into reality. Born on March 2, 1949, in Ohio, she pursued her passion for dance and theater, eventually leading her to the world of film and television. The actress gained recognition for her role as a chief medical officer in a beloved franchise, which first aired in 1987. Her character's intelligence, wit, and compassion resonated with audiences, making her a fan favorite. Throughout her career, she has showcased her talent in various productions, including films, television shows, and theater performances. In addition to her acting skills, she has also contributed as a director, choreographer, and educator. Her work has transcended generations, captivating both old and new fans alike. Despite her success, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to inspire and entertain, leaving a lasting impact on the industry and those who admire her. Actress Gates McFadden is best known for her role as Dr. Beverly Crusher in the Star Trek The Next Generation series and films. She has also worked as a choreographer and director, bringing her unique talents to various projects. Perhaps you hold closest to your heart her work on Star Trek where she brought to life a strong, intelligent female character who was also a loving mother. Or maybe you cherish her choreography in films like Labyrinth or The Dark Crystal. Whatever your favorite memory or personal experience related to the actress, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And get ready to learn more about this classic star as we delve into some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up in this video. So, keep watching! What enduring qualities do you think makes the actress an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it her talent, her versatility, or her ability to captivate audiences? Let us know in the comments below. Born Cheryl Gates McFadden in 1949 in Akron, Ohio, the actress was exposed to the world of performing arts at a young age. Her mother, Carly, was a dance instructor, and her father, James McFadden, was a businessman. The actress's upbringing was filled with creativity and art, with her mother's dance studio being a significant part of her childhood. The actress's early exposure to dance led her to pursue a career in the field. She attended the University of California, Berkeley, where she studied dance and psychology. Later, she moved to New York City to study modern dance at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater. During her time in New York, the actress was heavily influenced by choreographer and dancer Martha Graham. She became a member of the Martha Graham Dance Company and toured with them for several years. The actress's work with Graham had a profound impact on her physicality and movement, which later translated to her acting and movement coaching. In the early 1980s, the actress shifted her focus to acting and began studying at the Herbert Berghoff Studio in New York. It was there that she met her mentor, Uta Hagen, a renowned German-American actress and theater practitioner. Hagen's teachings on acting and the Stanislavski system had a significant influence on the actress's approach to her craft. The actress's early exposure to dance and the performing arts, as well as her mentors Martha Graham and Uta Hagen, played a crucial role in shaping her path as an actress and movement coach. Her background in dance and psychology, combined with her training in acting, allowed her to bring a unique perspective and skill set to her work in the entertainment industry. The actress Gates McFadden, born Cheryl Gates McFadden on March 2, 1949, in Akron, Ohio, grew up in a family that encouraged creativity. Her father was a prominent businessman, and her mother was a homemaker who loved the arts. McFadden's early life experiences included a love for dance, which she pursued as a child and teenager. She later studied dance at the University of California, Los Angeles, and went on to earn a master's degree in dance from the University of Pittsburgh. McFadden's career took a turn when she became interested in the intersection of dance and technology. She began working as a choreographer and director, and her work caught the attention of film and television producers. In 1987, she was cast as Dr. Beverly Crusher in the popular science fiction series Star Trek The Next Generation. Playing Dr. Crusher was a significant event in McFadden's career. She appeared in over 170 episodes of the show, and became a beloved character among fans. Her portrayal of the character was warm, intelligent, and compassionate, and she brought a unique energy to the role. After Star Trek The Next Generation ended, McFadden continued to work in film and television. She has appeared in numerous shows and movies, including The Practice, Mad About You, 
and The Invisible Man. She has also worked as a director and choreographer, and she has taught at several universities. In recent years, McFadden has become an advocate for the arts and education. She has spoken about the importance of creativity and the need for arts education in schools. She continues to inspire and influence others with her work and her passion for the arts. From a young age, the actress was drawn to the enchanting world of performing arts. She would often put on shows for her family, much to their delight. However, it was during her time at the University of Pittsburgh, where she pursued a degree in psychology, that she discovered her true passion for acting. During her junior year, she took an elective course in modern dance, which opened up a whole new world of creative expression for her. Her dance instructor recognized her talent and encouraged her to pursue a career in dance and theater. After graduating from college, the actress moved to New York City to study dance and acting. She honed her craft by performing in various off-Broadway productions and working as a choreographer. One pivotal moment in her career came when she was cast as a dancer in the film, The Cotton Club, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. This experience exposed her to the world of filmmaking and sparked her interest in pursuing a career in film and television. From then on, the actress continued to work in various films and television shows, showcasing her versatility and talent in every role she played. Her passion for the arts has never wavered, and she continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her performances. After working as a Muppeteer and movement coordinator for Jim Henson, the actress gained fame for her role as Dr. Beverly Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation. During her time on the show, she had the opportunity to play Catherine Ryan in the hunt for Red October. While unavailable for Patriot Games due to her Star Trek commitments, she was replaced by Ann Archer. Interestingly, several cast members from both Star Trek and its rival series, Star Wars, have shared roles. The actress and Kara Knightley have both played Catherine Ryan. Other shared roles include Patrick Stewart and Julian Glover as King Richard I, Brent Spiner, and Mark Hamill as the Joker, and Will Wheaton and Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Robert Lincoln. During the show's second season, the actress was released from Star Trek The Next Generation. She used this opportunity to play Catherine Ryan in The Hunt for Red October. However, she returned to the show, making her unavailable for Patriot Games, resulting in her replacement by Ann Archer. Early in her career, the actress faced significant financial struggles. To make ends meet, she worked various jobs, including a stint as a pastry chef and a puppeteer. Her determination to succeed in the face of adversity showcased her resilience. The actress also encountered industry skepticism. Despite her talent, some questioned her ability to handle complex roles. However, she refused to let others' doubts define her. Instead, she honed her craft, taking classes and workshops to improve her skills. During this time, the actress discovered a love for choreography and movement. She began working as a movement coach, which allowed her to bring her unique perspective to the industry. This creative solution not only provided financial stability, but also opened doors for her as an actress. Eventually, the actress landed a role in a popular film, which catapulted her to stardom. Her resilience and determination had paid off, proving the naysayers wrong. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to face challenges head-on. She has never shied away from taking risks or trying new things. Her ability to adapt and overcome obstacles has made her a respected and admired figure in the industry. Despite the production difficulties on Star Trek The Next Generation, the actress's character, Dr. Beverly Crusher, remained a constant. The lawyer, Leonard Mazelish, who frequently interfered with creative decisions, was eventually banned from the lot. This led to the departure of several writers, including David Gerald and D.C. Fontana. The producer, Morris Hurley, who was hired by Mazelish, also clashed with the rest of the team and left after the second season. Following Hurley's departure, Rick Berman took over as producer and rehired the actress for the following seasons. By this time, Gene Roddenberry's health had declined and he had become unable to work on the show. He passed away during production of season five. In addition to acting, the actress also directed an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Out of the regular cast members, she directed the least number of episodes, with Jonathan Frakes directing the most, followed by Patrick Stewart and LeVar Burton. Outside of acting and directing, the actress has also been involved in teaching. 
In November 2005, she was teaching at the University of Southern California. After graduating from the prestigious Juilliard School, the actress began her career on stage, performing in various theater productions. However, it was her role in the groundbreaking film The Hunt for Red October that brought her to the attention of a wider audience. In this 1990 film, she played the character of Dr. Carol Fleck, and her performance was praised by critics and peers alike. Following this success, the actress was cast in the iconic role of Dr. Beverly Crusher in the popular television series Star Trek The Next Generation. This show, which aired from 1987 to 1994, became a cultural phenomenon and solidified the actress's status as a household name. Her portrayal of Dr. Crusher was widely recognized for its depth and complexity, and she quickly became a fan favorite. In addition to her work on Star Trek, the actress has also made significant contributions to the world of theater. She has directed and choreographed numerous productions, including the human comedy and A Midsummer Night's Dream. Her work in the theater has been praised for its creativity and innovation, and she has been recognized with several awards and accolades. Despite her many accomplishments, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to act, direct, and choreograph, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and inspiring future generations of performers. Her career is a testament to her talent and versatility, and her contributions will be remembered for years to come. After signing on to play Dr. Beverly Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation, the actress was led to believe that her character would develop into a romantic interest for Captain John Luke Picard. However, as the first season progressed, she became frustrated with the lack of character development for Dr. Crusher. Clashes with the show's co-executive producer, Morris Hurley, ultimately led to her dismissal from the series. She was replaced by Dr. Kate Pulaski, played by Diana Muldor, for the second season. The actress, known for her work in the show, has a unique artistic vision and process. She values collaboration and often works closely with the director, writers, and other actors to develop her characters. She believes that acting is a group effort and that the best performances come from a shared understanding and vision. Her approach to acting is intuitive and character-driven. She spends a lot of time researching and developing a deep understanding of her characters, their motivations, and their backgrounds. This allows her to bring a sense of authenticity and depth to her performances. The actress's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her work. She is a strong advocate for women's rights and often chooses roles that allow her to explore and challenge gender stereotypes. She also draws on her background in dance to inform her physicality and movement on screen. In the film, for example, the actress played a character who is both strong and vulnerable, challenging traditional notions of femininity. Her performance was praised for its complexity and nuance, with critics noting her ability to convey a range of emotions through subtle physicality and facial expressions. Overall, the actress's unique approach to acting is characterized by her deep commitment to character development, her collaborative spirit, and her willingness to use her platform to challenge societal norms and promote positive change. After studying acting in Paris with the renowned teacher Jacques Lecoq, the actress went on to become one of the choreographers for a movie and appeared in it as well, albeit uncredited. A year later, she started on the television show Star Trek The Next Generation, where she played Dr. Beverly Crusher for six of the seven seasons and four theatrical movies. In the film The Hunt for Red October, she took on the small role of Caroline Ryan with the understanding that the character would have a larger part in the sequel Patriot Games. However, due to financial disagreements, the lead actor refused to reprise his role, and the producers decided to cast new actors for both characters. As a result, the actress was replaced in Patriot Games. The actress, Gates McFadden, is well known for her role as Dr. Beverly Crusher in the popular franchise Star Trek. Her contribution to the science fiction genre is significant, as she brought a sense of humanity and empathy to the character, which resonated with audiences. According to Trek expert Larry Nemesek, Gates McFadden's portrayal of Dr. Beverly Crusher added a layer of compassion and warmth to the Star Trek The Next Generation crew. McFadden's influence extends beyond acting, as she also contributed to the show's choreography. She staged and performed the unique board dance sequence in the season 2 episode The Best of Both Worlds. This unexpected moment showcased her creativity 
and willingness to push boundaries in storytelling. In addition to her work on Star Trek, McFadden has had a successful career in theater and education. She served as the director of dance at Harvard University and has appeared in various stage productions, including The Seagull, A Life in the Theater, and Macbeth. McFadden's impact on the industry is evident in the number of young actresses who cite her as an inspiration. Actor and writer Felicia Day shared her admiration for the actress, stating, Gates McFadden's portrayal of Dr. Beverly Crusher inspired me to pursue a career in acting. Her strength, intelligence, and grace were truly captivating. In conclusion, Gates McFadden's contribution to the entertainment industry is multifaceted, encompassing acting, choreography, and education. Her ability to bring depth and humanity to her characters has left an indelible mark on the Star Trek franchise and inspired countless young actors. In Star Trek The Next Generation, several cast members took on directing roles, including the actress who played Dr. Beverly Crusher. Gates McFadden, after receiving her bachelor's degree in theater from Brandeis University, departed from the show in its second season due to creative differences with producer Morris Hurley. Allegations of sexual harassment against Hurley later emerged, leading to his departure and McFadden's return in the third season. Tracy Torme, who also had conflicts with Hurley, created a character in his series Sliders based on him. This character, named Michael Hurley, was known for being difficult to work with, reflecting Torme's experiences with the producer. The actress, known for her role in a popular sci-fi series, leads a life outside of the spotlight that is deeply intertwined with her values and interests. She is a passionate advocate for the arts, using her platform to promote arts education and accessibility. In her spare time, she enjoys practicing and teaching dance, a pursuit that she has been involved in since childhood. In addition to her love for the arts, the actress is deeply committed to giving back to her community. She has been involved in various philanthropic efforts, including supporting organizations that focus on education, healthcare, and the arts. She has also been a longtime supporter of animal welfare causes, using her social media platforms to raise awareness for animal rescue and adoption efforts. The actress's personal values and interests are also reflected in her work. She has often spoken about the importance of representation in media and the impact it can have on audiences. Her roles in various productions have challenged stereotypes and provided nuanced portrayals of complex characters. In recent years, the actress has also turned her attention to directing and producing, using her experience and platform to amplify the voices of underrepresented groups in the industry. She has been involved in several projects that center on social justice issues and aim to inspire positive change. Overall, the actress's personal values and interests have informed her work and her life outside of the professional sphere. Her commitment to giving back to her community and advocating for the arts is a testament to her dedication to making a positive impact in the world. At SF Ball 23 in Southampton, England, the actress who played Dr. Beverly Crusher in Star Trek, the next generation was a guest of honor. She and Diana Muldor are the only doctors from any of the five Star Trek series who didn't say I'm a doctor, not a underscore 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 in some capacity. The Starfleet uniforms in the first season of Star Trek, the next generation were ill-fitting jumpsuits for all characters, but this was changed in later years. While the men had separate tunics and trousers that matched up in the midsection, the women's uniforms continued to be a single piece. However, the actress had a custom two-piece uniform made for herself that was very similar to the other women's uniforms, but was actually much easier for her to wear. This uniform is a slightly different shade of blue from the standard sciences division uniforms. The actress, known for her role in the popular film series, has left an indelible mark on the industry. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has set her apart from her peers. She has paved the way for future actors and actresses to take risks and push boundaries in their craft. When asked about her legacy, she humbly attributes her success to her passion for storytelling and her commitment to her craft. She encourages aspiring actors to stay true to themselves and to never stop learning. As for her future contributions, she hopes to continue to tell compelling stories and to inspire the next generation of actors. She believes that the industry is constantly evolving and that there is always more to learn and discover. Her advice for aspiring actors is to be patient, persistent, and to never give up on their dreams. 
She encourages them to take risks, to be curious, and to always be open to new experiences. She believes that success is not just about talent, but also about hard work, dedication, and a willingness to learn and grow. In a world where technology and media are constantly changing, the actress remains a steadfast advocate for the power of storytelling and the importance of human connection. Her legacy and future contributions will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. During the fourth season of Star Trek The Next Generation, the actress who played Dr. Beverly Crusher was pregnant. Producers chose not to incorporate this into the series, instead using various techniques to conceal her pregnancy on screen. Initially, producers had considered introducing a new doctor to the series for the third season. Fans had expressed their disappointment when the actress left after the first season. However, instead of bringing in a third doctor in as many seasons, they decided to rehire the actress as Dr. Crusher. Apart from her role in Star Trek The Next Generation, the actress made her film debut in The Muppets Take Manhattan, where she played Mr. Price's secretary. She had previously worked with Jim Henson as a choreographer and puppeteer on The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. However, she is best known for her role as Dr. Beverly Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation. After graduating from Brandeis University with a degree in theater, the actress pursued her passion for storytelling. She honed her skills in various stage productions before transitioning to film and television. Her journey included working with renowned puppeteers and developing her unique style of blending physical comedy and emotional depth in her performances. The actress gained recognition for her role in a popular science fiction film series where she brought to life a strong and intelligent character who inspired many. Despite facing challenges in her career, she persevered and continued to make an impact in the entertainment industry. In addition to her work on screen, the actress also shared her expertise as a choreographer and director, showcasing her versatility and innovation. She has been a trailblazer for women in the industry and has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Throughout her career, the actress has demonstrated the power of creativity and perseverance. Her journey serves as a reminder that with passion and determination, one can overcome obstacles and make a lasting impact. After watching the actress's work, you might have noticed her exceptional talent and dedication. She has brought to life many memorable characters on the big and small screen. The actress is known for her ability to fully embody a character, making them feel real and relatable to audiences. Throughout her career, the actress has shown her versatility and range as a performer. From comedy to drama, she has done it all. Her work in the show is particularly noteworthy, where she played a strong and intelligent character who was also deeply empathetic. The actress's portrayal of this character has left a lasting impact on fans of the show. Beyond her work as an actress, the actress is also known for her contributions to the entertainment industry as a whole. She has been a trailblazer for women in Hollywood and has inspired countless young performers to pursue their dreams. As you reflect on the actress's work and legacy, we invite you to share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. What was your favorite performance of hers? How has her work impacted you? We would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this celebration of the actress's career, be sure to like and share this post with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, we can continue to honor and appreciate the incredible talent and contributions of artists like the actor.